Coming up in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your call to action sticky on your page as your users are scrolling on your page. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, I have my page and as I'm scrolling, you notice that we have our call to action here, which has the stuck background. So I'm going to continue scrolling and boom, now it's stuck on the top and notice that the color changes and all the text now is scrolling below my call to action. And when I scroll back over here, you can see there it unsticks and I can continue seeing what's on top. So that's what's coming up in today's video. Hello, my name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your call to actions on your page and make them sticky. And not only that, I'll also show you how to change the colors and size as they're stuck on the page. But before I get started and show you how to do it, I would like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my link and then send me your receipt number and I will give you access to the course right away. All the information is in the video description below. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. It. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. So I'm just going to call this my page. Click on use Divi Builder. So now we have the option to either build from scratch or choose a pre-made layout. So for this example, we're just going to save time and choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to go to browse layouts and now I can go through the whole library of pre-made layouts and see which layout I can go with. So you know what? I'm going to keep everything easy. I'm going to come over here on this restaurant layout pack and then use this one here as my example. So I'm going to click here on use this layout. So this now is going to uh, install the design of this page. All right, so as you can see, our design has been loaded onto our page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a spot to add my call to action. Now, the technique with this is you want to make sure that whatever you're going to choose, that's going to be your call to action and uh, whatever it is that's going to be sticky needs to be somewhere in the middle because if it's too further down here, it won't then get time to stick to the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, I'm going to add it right here, okay? So I can click here on this plus button, add a regular section. Okay, so we're going to have a single column because we want to add a call to action for this. Now, by the way, you can also add it as, a, uh, as an opt-in. It can be whatever you want. So now with that, I'm going to search for my call to action. I'm going to select that. So now you can see my call to action has been added. But what I'm going to do differently straight away is I'm going to add a button to this because right now we're missing the button. So to show the button, you want to come over here to uh, your button URL and add your URL like that. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. And next, it's time now to stylize this part of our page. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings and give this a background color. So you can give it something as crazy as this, or you can even go black if you want to. So maybe this could be uh, something to do with Black Friday, or it could just be maybe a promotion that you have on your website. So what we need to do now that we have our color, we're just going to go ahead and uh, save this. And let's go ahead and stylize this call to action. So I'm going to come over here and change a few things. I'm going to go into my heading here and change the color. There we go. So I've just changed my color. In fact, let's go with, uh, okay, let's go with something like that. Next, I'm going to come over here to my text and for my text, I'm just going to add, you know what? I'll go with that for my text. And then now let's stylize the button. And with the button here, we can just leave it as it is, or we can go in and really, really design this. So I'm just going to keep everything simple here. I'm just going to go and give this border of two pixels. And then I'm also going to um, add my text color like that so that it matches my description text here. The next step now is to just add my dummy text for my call to action. So I'm going to go to Lorem 2 and just copy some dummy text from here. So I'm going to copy this and then back over here now. It's going to go to my content, text, and then replace what I have here with my new text. Okay, so now we have enough text. Next, I am going to uh, also work on the title there because that doesn't look great. So I'm going to go in and 
just replace this. Right, so as I'm looking at this, I can see that I may want to change my button design here. It looks a, a bit too bland. Let's go ahead and do that. So now I am going to uh, go to my button background and set my color. Next, I am going to remove my border. Or in fact, I can just use the same border here. So that looks much better, to be honest. All right, so let's go ahead now and save. So this is going to be our call to action. So as you can see here, this is pretty much scrolling all over the place. But what we need to do now is when uh, a user comes to our website and they start scrolling, we want this to stop right here. Okay, that's what we need to do. So to achieve this, you want to come over here now to your section settings, go to advanced, scroll effects, and then click on stick to top. Okay, so now it's stuck to the top. So let's save this for now and see what this looks like. All right, so uh, we're going to start scrolling now and hopefully this should stick to the top and sure enough. Okay, so it's sticking to the top. Now, the issue that I have right now is, yes, it's sticking to the top, but um, I want it to shrink a little bit because right now it's taking up a lot of space and if you're on a small screen, this is not going to look good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in here and reduce the size so let's go to design here, spacing. So now you can see here we have uh, padding. So I can actually go in here and add all my settings here for my padding. But you know what? Let's go ahead and add, let's go with 1%. Okay, so now you can see that it's reduced, which is very good. But we need to apply this setting over here on this pinned item. So this is what determines where it's going to be. So I'm going to come over here now to the sticky icon and add my one percent add it to the bottom as well now the same applies to this text that we have in here i can actually go in and play around with the sizes if i need to and also change the background color so let's just stylize this a bit more so i'm going to go back over here to my content go to background and let's see what it looks like when i add this color mm, not sure about this color here. I may want to make it a bit darker. Okay, so uh, let's just undo what we've just done here. So what I'm going to do next is to click here on the sticky icon and change our color. So I'm going to come over here, but you know what? I'm just going to make this color a bit dark like that. So this is the color that's going to change, uh, that's going to change to when I go in and uh, get stuck here to the top. So that's looking great so far. I'm going to save this. And then what I'm also going to do now is I am going to go in to my row settings. Click on design, spacing. And you can see here on the padding, I can also go in and adjust my padding for my rows. So I'm going to click here and go to my sticky item. And you know what? I'm going to do the same. Add 1%. And now it has shrunk a bit more, which is great. All right, so I'm going to save this now. Okay, so let's save this one more time. Now, remember, what we could also do here is we can go in and change this text. In fact, you know what? Let's go in and do that because it's quite difficult to read right now. So I'm going to go in now. And again, while I'm here on the text, on the title text color, I can also click here on the sticky item. And this color will only change when I am stuck here on the top so that's looking good uh, i can also change the size if i need to but you know what i don't want to complicate this design we want to keep it as simple as possible so now that i have this all set i'm going to save my page and then we're going to exit the visual builder and see if this sticky item is working okay so here's the moment of truth so i'm going to start scrolling now and let's say my user here is scrolling on the page scrolling scrolling and they see this notification oh okay this is the offer and this is the call to action button and they keep scrolling and boom when it gets there it gets stuck to the top and you can still you know consume any other information here but now when i start scrolling back as soon as i get to that position it will just go down with the content. So it starts off with this color here. And then when I 
get stuck here to the top. It shrinks a little bit and also the message gets smaller. So this is how you add your call to actions and make them stick to the top or make them stick wherever you want as people are scrolling on your website. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and also hit the bell notification to be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.